Hello, Mark here with another Can Am Riker video. Today I'm going to be taking a ride to the Francis E. Walter Dam located in Bear Creek Township, Pennsylvania. I'm going to stop, show you the dam, and just the beautiful views that it provides. I hope you enjoy the video. It's still winter time in Pennsylvania. It's 55 degrees out. A great day to ride the Riker. I'm going to be heading to the dam and you're going to see, when you see a waterfall on the left hand side, I'm going to be turning onto a road that heads to the right and it's called Snake Road. It's filled with potholes. It's uh, one of those horrendous roads that you almost feel bad for taking the Riker on, but the scenery is absolutely beautiful and it's the road that leads to the dam. Anyway guys, let me tell you a little bit of history about the dam. The Francis E. Walter Dam is an embankment dam located in Bear Creek Township, Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. It was constructed in 1961 by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Although the dam was originally constructed for flood management, its reservoir has since become a popular recreational area for fishing, kayaking, and boating. It was originally called the Bear Creek Dam, but was renamed in 1963 after the United States Congressman Francis E. Walter. Right up here on the left hand side you're going to see that waterfall that I was talking about and uh, I'm going to try to slow down over here give you a good view. Absolutely beautiful. Had a couple people over there checking out their Riker. I'm turning on to what I call Snake Road. That's not the official name for it, but just by its winding turns and crazy potholes. Um, that's kind of the official name around Pennsylvania here. You're going to see how nasty this road is. Quite a lot of fun, a lot of beautiful scenery, and like I said, some crazy potholes you got to look out for. I'm loving the farmland on the left-hand side over here. You'll usually see some animals out. Just a gorgeous area. Looks like we got some horses on the left hand side over there. I think the further you go through here, the worse the potholes get. Oh, ouch! I felt that one in my soul. Beautiful stream on the right hand side over here. Let's see if I can get a better view for you guys. One of my favorite places to ride. This area is going to be great once they get the road, the road paved. Um, I believe they have that project scheduled for this upcoming spring, so hopefully we can get this area looking really, really nice. Pennsylvania definitely isn't great with repairing their potholes, that's for sure. We have one of the highest gas taxes and basically hardly any road repairs. Great stretch of road here. You can see uh, it has the dotted line in the middle, which means you can pass in either direction. You just got to be real careful. Oh, these potholes. That's how you could tell if someone's sober or drunk in Pennsylvania. If they're all over the road, they're definitely sober. If they're riding through this stretch and they're going straight, definitely drunk. Good sobriety test, guys. Right over on the left, we should be coming up to some, some water and some streams. I'll see if I can get a good view for his. We're going to be hitting the area for Francis Walter Dam very shortly here. It should be coming up on the left hand side. This is exactly why I bought the Rally Edition bike. I do a lot of off-roading. Not, nothing crazy, but I think it's just these potholed roads put a hurting on the suspension. So having the Rally in Pennsylvania is, is almost a must. Taking them potholes like a champ, though. Beautiful area over here 
on the left, you can see all the water and some of the hills. Tree's still barren, so that's a good thing, getting some good views for you guys. I think in the summertime, it's not going to be as nice of a ride. Definitely temperature-wise a lot better, but you're not going to be able to see as much through these trees. Something a little different for you today. Hopefully you're enjoying the view so far. I don't know how I'm missing all these bottles here. A road that's not traveled a lot either, which is a nice thing, so... Most of the time when you're on this, you have the road to yourself. I'm not a big guy for traffic. You'll notice in most of my videos that uh, I'm either on the mountain or somewhere in the country avoiding all the chaos. That's kind of why I don't have a windshield on this right now. I do most of my riding in areas like this. And I, I don't really feel the need for a windshield. On the highway, definitely, it does make an improvement, but in areas like this, I'd rather have the, the open feel, feel of the Riker. All right, here's that left I was talking about. You can see the sign here. It says Francis E. Walter Dam. There should be a little rest area over here coming up on the right-hand side, some really nice picnic tables, and a little bit of off-roading you could do. It's kind of like a gravelly dirt area. I'll be honest with you, too. I gotta hit the restroom up here. There's some job johnnies. Nothing like a, a good restroom break when you're in the middle of nowhere. Here's that area over here. It's absolutely beautiful. I just sit here and just kind of clear my head a lot of the times. And This is the first time any of my videos I've been up in this area, so something new for you is one of my favorite rides, though, definitely. You just got to do it on a semi-warm day because that highway will definitely make you freeze if you're not careful. I'm going to pull the Riker over right on the left-hand side over here and shut her down. Alright guys, give you a good view of the Riker here. She's beautiful. If you notice, I stripped all the decals off of her and in my next video you're gonna see she's a work in progress. I've been printing my own vinyl decals and kind of making her my own here so in the next video you're gonna see her looking a lot different. Right now she's naked and looking like she just came from the showroom floor. Alright, restroom break finished here and off we go. I love this dirt road and the rally definitely handles it like a champ. I'm not going really fast. I don't like beating her, that's for sure. I, I want to keep her in pristine condition as long as I can. Definitely up for some off-roading, but Nothing crazy, like I said, I want to keep her looking good and in mechanical shape as long as I can. Right around this corner here, we should be taking a right, I believe, yep, and going up the hill here. I'll show you some of the, the area, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the, the rocks on the right-hand side up here. This is what I live for. I just love riding and not going crazy with speed or anything. Not, not what I bought the Riker for. This is what I bought the Riker for. Clearing the head. I work a lot of hours. I try to put out some videos for you guys. and try to spend a lot a lot of time with my family here so this is my therapy let me get off this thing and show you the surrounding area it's absolutely gorgeous look at the view 
one of these days I want to take a kayak in here and maybe throw the fishing pole in the water. Believe it or not, I never fished in this this area yet. I'd love to give it a try and definitely something I plan on doing once the, the weather gets warmer. Another view of the Riker guys against the backdrop. I just love this thing. Another view of the rocky hill here and some of the paths along the area. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And please drop me a comment in the comment section, I promise I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching.